Anyone who's played Bee Storm Simulator knows what gifted bees are. Personally, I have 50 gifted bees in my hive, but have you ever wondered, are they actually that important? So in this video, I'm gonna go inside of the Bee Storm test realm and test 50 gifted bees versus 50 ungifted bees. So yeah, if you enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, and tell me some more stuff that I should test inside of the Bee Storm test realm. And yeah, let's head to the game that makes me suffer too much. And as you can see, I'm inside of the Bee Storm test realm, but unfortunately for me, this hive already has... 40 gifted bees. Not 50, but 40. But anyway, let's do full reset. So with this resets my account on it, please ban me. Thanks, babe. And as you can see, I'm inside of the bee swarm test realm. So first up, get my 100 million snowflakes and my 100 million gingerbread berries, which I will not be using. The thing I love using inside of the bee swarm test realm is to level bees to 20 and make gifted. But the problem with that is, I can't make my bees gifted just yet. Okay, let's also get the buffs. I get all this crap and at the top, equips, which I probably won't use, get all B eggs, and auto claim badges. Oh yeah, the thing I forgot to do, the most important part, the most important part of any B-Storm video. Turn off the music. I've been listening to it for six years, okay, you get tired of it. Alright, first up, I'm gonna use star eggs. And if you're wondering why I'm getting gifted bees, this might seem a little counterintuitive, but I just want gifted bee types. I am gonna replace every single one of these gifted bees, so do not worry. All this gifted cringe will not be in my hive soon. But first, I need 25 bee types, so I'll see you when I get that. And there we go. 25 gifted bees, which I will replace very soon. And 25 bee types, let's go. As you can see, I'm in a 25 bee area. And this is the Yark channel, so we use super smoothies for haste. Only reason I ever use super smoothies. But anyway, up here, I'm just gonna buy a bunch of tools, like all this porcelain gear, the backpack, which I will not use, the glider, and most importantly, 25 more hive slots. I've got myself an extra 25 hive slots. Dude, look at my hive from across the map. This is so cursed. No one should have 25 bees and, and 25 empty hive slots. Too cursed. Man, this is too cursed, man. But that's how all my videos are. So if you like cursed videos, drop a like and sub. But my plan for this video is simple. First up, I'm gonna become a white hive. And thanks to my good friend Royal, he sent me the best possible white hive composition, which is what I'm gonna be using for this video. So it has 25 vector bees, 7 precise, 4 baby bees, and then a bunch of other different bees, which I'll get into later. But first, let's obviously start off with the vector bees at the bottom. Alright, so here is 20 and 21 vector bees right here. Beautiful. Now I need 7 precise bees. And I'm already starting to think that having non-gifted precise bees is going to screw me over. Because if you didn't know, something that precise bee does is the precise mark. And it's really overpowered to say the least. But you only get it if it's gifted, so... This challenge might be a little more difficult than I thought. Yeah, single carpenter. I don't know why. I'm just following the advice of better players, okay? So as the saying goes, monkey see, monkey do. That's me right here. Surprisingly, we're not going to use a rage bee. Only a brave bee. But I think that's for bee quips, because you can get toy horns on a brave bee. Right, so we got the commander. The best bee in all bee swarm. Do you want to guess what it is? I need to find it first. Yeah, honeybee. Beautiful. If you want to be happy, stop complaining. Wise man, aka me. The thicker, the better. Me. The thicker it is, the better it is. Trust. Alright, next up, we need some simpler bees, like basic bee. Brave bee. And I have one more slot, so let's add a shy bee in here. Because why not? Shy bee is pretty pogger. Right about now, I would stop on the make bees level 20 gifted button, but I can't do that today. Because first, I'm gonna make the hive level 20 manually, okay? I'm gonna do it the way they used to back in the 20th century. I feel like a caveman leveling up bees by hand. Like, imagine doing that. Like, I feel it's- I feel like it's been so long since I've leveled up bees by hand. I'm just so used to automation and that button. I have like 2.7 quadrillion honey worth of treats, so let's see how many I need to level up 1 bee to level 20. I don't know what this number is. Is it enough? Okay, level 16. Not quite. What if we add an extra 0? Oh, uh, still not enough. What about now? An extra 0 again. And there we go, it's level 20. Beautiful. So this is 5 billion treats to get 1 bee to level 20. What a complete scam! But anyway, this is gonna take a while, so enjoy me suffering. And I'm done. Finally. This took way too long. I'm just kidding, it only took like 2 minutes, but anyway, as you can see, every single bee in my hive is level 20, but it's not gifted. Not a single bee, bro. This is gonna be so cursed. And if you're wondering, if I don't have a single gifted bee, how am I gonna get the Supreme Star Amulet? Well, the answer to that is simple. I'm not. Well, I am. But I'm just gonna be a little cheater and step on this button, which automatically gives me an SSA that is perfect. So what I'm looking for is Gummy Star and Star Saw. Which might take a little while to get, considering all that love is scamming me. So yeah, hopefully getting this doesn't take too long. And there we go, my first SSA. 
although it is kind of dog water. I'm gonna replace, but I'll come back to this later. Next up, the moon amulet. I need honey from pollen and white pollen, since I'm gonna be a white hive. Okay, this is pretty good. 48 white pollen, 6 honey per pollen. Oh yeah, I didn't use the button. I just used one of my many moon charms, and actual moon amulet. Alright, next up we have the cog amulet. Supreme, of course. So I need something like white pollen, a little bit of attack. Okay, wait, this is actually perfect. Instant white conversion, honey from tokens, and a little bit of pollen, some bee attack. Let's go, we can replace. Then we got the ant amulet. Yeah, I definitely don't want move speed. I mean, it's very fun running fast, but it's not that good for boosting. No, not move speed. Stop giving me move speed. All right, I'd say this is pretty good. Critical chance pollen, all that good stuff. Next up, we got the diamond sigma amulet. This is really important. I need honey from tokens and white pollen on here. Exactly what I need. Then, the Supreme Shell Amulet. Imagine having to kill the sub every time. I can just tap on this button and get a new Supreme Star Amulet each time. Skill differential, honestly. Wait, this is really good. 14% goo, goo conversion, white pollen. Let's go. And lastly, we have the King Beetle Amulet, which is the most useless. I just need a plus one B attack. No, not blue B attack, just B attack. Let's go. And the next step to my suffering, I mean to completing this challenge, is to get the best gear possible. And there's no better place to start off than the ace shop, so let's buy the Supreme Saturator. Beautiful. And next up, you have the Cobalt and Crimson Guard, alongside the Honey Mask, the, the sexiest mask of them all, trust. Th then we can invade the house of Innocent Gummy Bee, and steal his life savings, by which I mean the glue. And let's also get the Gummy Mask, the Gummy Boots, and the Gummy Baller. The Gummy Baller. I don't know why I can't talk sometimes. And then Gummy Bear can deport me all the way back to Earth. Can you please deport me, Gummy Bear? No? I guess I have world gigs. I can deport myself. Let's go. Hey, in every single video that I play Test Realm, people tell me that I forget the pedal belt. It's like a meme on this channel. So just so I don't forget, I'm gonna buy it right now. I bought it right now, guys, okay? There's no chance I will forget this belt. Unless I replace it by coconut belt by accident. Which hopefully that doesn't happen. Alright, next up, we have to kill the coconut crab. So I'm thinking, I test how good my ungifted hive is, and I do a little speedrun of how quick I can kill the crab. So obviously, let's pop the super smoothie and the nectar tester, which gives me every single nectar in the game. And I don't have to AFK like a peasant for nectars. Beautiful. And there we go, I got time some precision. The only thing I was going for. Alright, now let's get some singers, pop the star saw, and jump inside the coconut field. Let's see how fast I can kill the crab with not a single gifted bee. Actually, surprisingly quick, dude. Is non-gifted bees the meta? I feel like ungifted bees don't get enough credit, dude. Literally pushing through. Only took 16 seconds. I guess I'm pretty close to the leaderboard, right? Imagine someone kills a crab in less than one second. That would be insane. But anyway, let's buy the clogs. And the coconut canister. And dude, okay, I have to get my gummy boots back. Because I replaced them with the clogs. But at least now I can get the coconut haste. How pog. Okay, gumdrops. And gummy boots, let's go! And now that I have literally the best gear possible inside a beast swarm, I think it's time to boost. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna boost for 10 minutes with first the ungifted hive, and then I'm gonna gift my entire hive and boost using it. Alright, so let's see how much honey I have now. So I'm starting off with 2.5 trillion honey, which I got from converting my backpack. I've got the speeder and timer here, so I don't lose track of time. So I'm really hoping for spider ones, but I'm not sure what I should donate. Uh, I guess you can never go wrong with a few gifted myth gags. They usually give me spider ones. Alright, here I've got a few gifted myth gags, so let's donate them to the wind shrine. And spider, please spider, let's go! I got spider fueled boost. I also got pineapple. I'm not sure what I should do, honestly. <sighs> Both have 13 next fueled boost. How about the white fueled booster decides what I'm gonna do? Oh, cactus. Well, I don't really have cactus wins, and it's not really a white field. I also forgot to craft a load of dice, which is something I'm definitely gonna need. So, let's get a few smooth dice up in here. And also a few loaded dice. Slay. But yeah, I'm just gonna do spider. You can never go wrong with spider. Alright, perfect. Times three and times four spider fuel boost. So let's start the timer and start boosting. I'm very excited to see how OP this boost is gonna be without gifted bees. I'm also a little nervous, I'll be honest. Oh yeah, just so it's fair, let's pop the super smoothie again and the marshmallow bee. And for this boost, I'm not gonna use any fessa beans because you guys know me, I usually love wasting fessa beans. Like, I have 100,000 of them. But they do have a 2 hour cooldown, so it definitely wouldn't be fair to use a Fessa Bean on one boost and not the other. And I don't want to wait for 3 hours to record one video. That's way too long for me. Already I'm making like 500 million honey per second. Not terrible. I was expecting a little less. Well yeah, some nerds on my other video said the sprinkler wasn't directly in the center, so... 
I guess that's my orientation, where I should put my sprinkler. Okay, can I get over 1 billion honey per second? Yo, let's go. 1.1 billion? I mean, it's nothing crazy, I'll be honest. I still haven't gotten a gummy star either, so it's gonna be a lot better. Alright, there we go. I got my first gummy star. Let's go. Already making like 3 billion per second. Slay. Very Paul Champ, as the kids would say. Alright, let's see how big I can grow this thing. Alright, look, so my goal is to get like 25 billion honey per second as an ungifted hive, okay? I think that seems reasonable. Like, if I boost good enough, if my skills are as good as I think, I think I should be able to do it. Oh yeah, 10 billion per second? I'm not even sure how much I'm getting, honestly. It's kind of hard to see the number. I'm sitting, I'm sitting so low to the ground. Alright, let's go. I might even get the gummy morph this gummy star. I don't know. Please, gummy morph. No! Okay, I guess all the honey is scattered all over the ground, bro. All this sticky, icky honey, which I have to pick up. Yeah, so not quite 25 billion per second, but we still have like 7 minutes left. We should be good. Alright, Gummy Star V2. Bro, this boost is a little messed up, I'll be honest. Bro, Gifted Bees are so underrated. Actually, I shouldn't be saying that just yet. Because I haven't even boosted with a Gifted Hive. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna make. But I'm gonna tell you this. I'm not making it as much as I thought I would. I mean, hey dude, we're making like 5 billion honey per second in the Test Realm. With the Test Realm Mega Boost, which gives me times 5 pollen. Yeah, so not a crazy amount, but... Uh, I guess not a small amount either. Only an 82 billion Gummy Star. My first one was like 200 billion. I'm disappointed in myself, like my dad is disappointed in me. I have to get 25 billion honey per second with an ungifted hive. Huh? Why? Only like 1 billion per second? Yeah, this game is- this game is scamming me. But I realize, I have so many bees like Basic Bee and Brave Bee and Hasty Bee that don't do anything unless they're gifted. That's probably the reason I'm not making anything, I'll be honest. So I'm really excited to see how much more I'm gonna make with a gifted hive. I'm, I'm just gonna say it now. I'm obviously gonna make more with a gifted hive, but how much more? I guess you'll have to stick around to see. And yeah, 10 minutes is just about up. One, and let's pause the timer. Exactly 10 minutes, so let's hop out of the field and stop making honey. I'm also gonna convert this stuff in my backpack. It's like nothing, okay? And moment of truth, how much did I make? Okay, so I think I made a little under 2 trillion. Yeah, so I made like 1.9 trillion in that boost. And now, for the moment of truth, I'm gonna gift every single bee. And I could just step on this button to make every single be gifted, but I like suffering. And I'll suffer for you guys. Anything for you guys. So I guess enjoy the time lapse of me gifting every single bee by hand. Since that is what I'm about. Actually, you know what? Everything I just said about gifting a hive by hand, I kind of forgot I'm on a clock. Which is the spider fueled ones, running out soon. So yeah, let's just step on this button. Hey, I'll suffer some other time, okay? I promise. So yeah, same with the spider fueled boost. It's also about to run out. So I do have a few more loaded dice. So really quickly, let's refresh that. Please, spider fueled ones, do not scammer me on it. Ah, there we go, about time. Only had to use 8 loaded dice. Yeah, anyway, let's also refresh the marshmallow bee and the super smoothie, because why not? And I guess, start using all this stuff and start the speedrun timer. So once more, I only have 10 minutes to make as much honey as possible. And already, I noticed a small difference. There's these purple things at the end of my precise bees. And let me explain what they do. So pretty much, you can get a precise mark, which let me show you how good it is. Look at this, bro. 7 super crit chance and 7 normal critical chance. You can only get it if it's gifted, so... You can probably guess why. I'm so excited about it. Yeah, so gifted bees already proving themselves to be pretty good. And I'm finally fast, dude. Finally, my stupid hasty bee and, and basic bee and my brave bee and stuff. Finally, they do something. Because if they're not gifted, they are complete dog water. Oh yeah, dude, my first gummy start. Let's go. It's a little too soon. I only have 2x precision. That is kind of embarrassing. But already, I'm making so much more honey. Than I was with the ungifted hive. Bro, this is so good. Oh my gosh. Yo, and the gummy morph too? Look, we're making like 10 billion per second. Well, not really. It's not a crazy amount of honey, once more. But I'm gonna scale it up to like 50 billion per second maybe. I don't know, hopefully. I'm hoping, okay. I'm a, I'm, I'm a pretty good beast storm player, I'd say. I think I can manage 50 billion per second. I'm making like a good 14 billion per second right now. Ah, oh, there we go. My second gummy star. Already 4 minutes in, that took way too long, I'll be honest. But there's an opportunity to make so much honey here. And I just gotta be smart about this. And so far, it's not going too well. Only making like 4 billion honey per second. I'll blame it on my speed, bro. I'm not fast enough. I don't- Maybe I, maybe I really should've gotten that player move speed from the am amulet. Alright, my third gummy star. I'm telling you, third time's the charm, okay? This one's gonna go crazy, for real now. Okay, I'm just kidding, I clickbaited. This wasn't as insane. But there's still time, okay? Three minutes left to get the best gummy star possible. We'll make it happen. Trust. 
Ah, uh, there we go. Bro, my gummy star popped as soon as the timer ended, dude. What a scam. Okay, I guess I have to leave the field. Poor gummy star. I guess I kind of went to waste. But anyway, I boosted for 10 minutes with each hive. So now let's exit and see how much I made. Alright, so before this, I started off with 290 trillion honey. 290.6 trillion to be exact. So if we subtract that from what I have now, I made 3.5 trillion in this boost. So I pretty much almost doubled what I was making before with the gifted hive. Now obviously, let me tell you this. The last boost I did was very unfortunate, okay? I was getting bad luck all around. But all around, this is a pretty fun experiment to do. So if you somehow have Beast from Test Realm access, you can try this out for yourself. And all the pro boosters watching this video will be like, Oh my gosh, Yarx is so bad at boosting. He actually didn't get precision that one time at exactly 11 minutes and 4 seconds. Yeah, I know, dude. I'm not the greatest booster, but I'm the greatest YouTuber. That's all that matters. And yeah, lesson learned. Gifted bees are very poggers. And ungifted bees, still kinda poggers, but not as poggers as gifted bees. Gifted bees are very good, so gift as many bees as you can, as long as it's reasonable. Don't go wasting your entire life savings on gifted bees, but at least try getting as many bees gifted as possible. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you drop a like and subscribe, really does help support me, and tell me some more experiments I should do inside a bee swarm, specifically the test realm, because test realm makes life easier. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.